This is a video on using the limit definition to find the derivative. The question states, use the limit process to find the derivative of f of x is equal to the square root of 2x minus 1. So first let's recall the definition of the derivative, which states that f prime of x is equal to the limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. So I'm going to substitute for f of x plus delta x, where I see an x right here in 2x will become a 2 times x plus delta x. And what I get is the limit as delta x approaches 0 of the square root of 2 times, and here's our x plus delta x, minus 1. And then I subtract f of x, which is root 2x minus 1, divide by delta x. Okay, so now that I have a limit that involves roots, I simplify that by multiplying top and bottom by the conjugate root. Remember, the conjugate root means that we put a plus sign where we saw a minus sign. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the square root of 2 times x plus delta x minus 1, and then plus the square root of 2x minus 1. And then we divide by the same thing. We do that because we have an a minus b times a plus b, and that becomes an a squared minus b squared. So a squared and b squared, what that'll do, will cancel the square root. And what I get up on top is 2 times x plus delta x minus 1. That's the inside of the first root. And then minus the inside of the second root, 2x minus 1. And the denominator stays the same. So now let's simplify. I can multiply the 2 through, and I can multiply the negative through. And what I get on the top is 2x plus 2 delta x minus 1 minus 2x plus 1. And the nice thing is much of this cancels. The 2x and minus 2x cancel. The negative 1 and the plus 1 cancel. And I'm left with just 2 delta x up in the numerator. So now I have a two, delta x up on top, a delta x down on the bottom. I can cancel those. And I'm left with the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 2 over the square root of 2 times x plus delta x minus 1 plus root 2x minus 1. Once I've canceled, that's when it's time to plug in. So my delta x is approaching 0, so I plug in 0 for delta x. And I end up getting 2 over the square root of 2 times x plus 0, and that's just 2x minus 1 plus root 2x minus 1. Well, it's nice I got a root 2x minus 1 here and a root 2x minus 1 here. And that's 2 times root 2x minus 1. So the 2's cancel, and my final answer is 1 over the square root of 2x minus 1. That's the derivative of f of x, and I'm done with the problem.